Hi, I'm Dr. Maynard presenting to you today the topics of diabetes and obesity and some of their correlations and uh, how they tend to work together to cause you um, some bigger problems. Um, patients who have obesity have a 10 times risk of developing diabetes. First, understand that diabetes is one of the main risk factors for obesity and obesity is one of the main risk factors for diabetes. 45% of patients who have diabetes are obese and about 15% of them are morbidly obese. Obesity is a contributing factor to diabetes because it puts the body in a chronically inflamed state which makes it more difficult for insulin to do its job of removing blood sugar from the bloodstream into cells. There are a couple things about diabetes, uh, a couple stages. I think the overview of, of diabetes is really one of a insidious disease. So it is present and doing its damage long before the damage shows up as major problems. So diabetes initially starts as a pre-diabetic state. Patients who have pre-diabetes have a 30% chance of converting to full diabetes in a three to five year period. Patients who have pre-diabetes have a 70% lifetime risk of converting to full diabetes. Uh, approximately 85% of patients who have pre-diabetes do not have awareness that they have pre-diabetes. Essentially, their blood sugars are a little bit higher. Uh, they stay higher consistently. That elevated blood sugar is what does the damage over time. As that damage continues and progresses, you get to an insulin resistant state where insulin resistance is the state where your insulin is not effective in moving sugar from the bloodstream into cells. As that progresses over time, it forces the pancreas to make more and more, and more insulin Eventually, over time, as the pancreas can no longer keep up with making that volume of insulin, um, you get to diabetes type 2, where your pancreas is not functioning correctly, making it even more difficult for you to maintain your blood sugars. When you put all of this together, you have a situation where over time, your blood sugar remains constantly high. This is what damages your nerve fibers. This is what damages your blood vessels and ultimately brings damage to your kidneys, your liver, your vision. Obesity is one of the main risk factors to that. A couple of the other risks includes uh, being pre-diabetic, not exercising enough to move, to help uh, blood sugars move into cells, and genetics. Uh, if you have a family member who has diabetes, that increases the chance of it and also certain uh, ethnic groups, African Americans, Native Americans, tend to have a high propensity for diabetes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe uh, this video to make it accessible to other individuals. If you wanna make an appointment to uh, come and see us, click the link below.